I received a message from my mother a few days ago. She's returned from another one of her sightseeing cruises. Yeah, you know, one of those luxury liner journeys that shows off binary stars, gas nebulas, asteroid fields. <laughs> Pretty photogenic stuff. Apparently, it's my mother's new favorite pastime. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. We never discussed this, did we? The thing is, my mother and I don't talk very much. We're not estranged or anything of the sort, we're just far apart. Good. When I say that to most people, they look at me like I'm crazy. I don't think they realize how much control parents can exert on your life, especially when their dreams conflict with your own. No. We should have discussed this a long time ago. You see, both of my parents were diplomats working under the flag of the UC Administrative Division. After I completed my basic education, they signed me up for a one-year apprenticeship in their department, without bothering to ask. Look, I was 18 years old, fresh out of school, and I idolized my parents. I trusted them. I'm certain they felt they were doing what was best for their daughter. Who was I to argue? Hmm. Wanted isn't the right word. Demanded would be more appropriate. For my apprenticeship, I was sent to Sidonia. My job consisted of drafting political policies and arbitrating trade disputes. The silver lining of the job was that it allowed me to spend time exploring every square inch of Mars. I was swallowed by it. Months before the apprenticeship ended, I dumped my diplomatic certification and joined the UC Navy. Of course, my parents didn't approve. We had a huge argument that resulted in all ties being severed between us. Well, that wasn't the worst of it. You see, my father was killed during the opening shots of the colony war. I returned to Jemison for the funeral and reunited with my mother. After that, we vowed to stay in touch. Aren't you sweet? Always concerned with how I'm feeling. That's why I fell in love with you. Your smile, your caring. <laughs> it brightens even my darkest days. Listen, I'm going to be completely upfront with you. All this talk of family, it makes me wonder where our own relationship stands. <laughs> 
You mean that? You do that? For me? I've been dreaming about this moment and still... I don't know what to say. <laughs> yes! Yes! Of course. Yes. Ah, I just need a little time to think about the ceremony. I have some thoughts about how we should move forward. You know, I used to dream about finding the love of my life. And here you are. All I ever needed was you, right here beside me. your ping loud as a bell. Eyes ready to let you aboard. We have a clean dog. Right on the money. Ugh, recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Glad you two finally have a chance to meet. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. That one's all on me. The Eye is the nickname for the star station. Think of it as one big telescope. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, 
Hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus proclamation? The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners. And I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. I make the visit when they need me. Don't mind the loner's life most days, and the eye is important work. But I should make the trip more often. Can't let Walter be the only one tending bar there too long. Everyone will forget what a good drink tastes like. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And... Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? Then we're hand in hand in agreement. Now get out there and burn some helium. You've tipped my ear. Usually doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. Put this bird on the ground.
Survival training taught me the caves are actually quite a good way to avoid Don't cosmic radiation or inhospitable Identify weather. Identify yourself. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Dutifully following orders. I should not be frustrated with you. It is good that you have their trust. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk.
Please proceed with caution. There is heavy machinery operating in this area. What is that? Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
best not to leave. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? You prefer answers that do not require you to commit to a position. I find this curious. I have also seen a great many things in my time. Some quite dangerous. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. 
Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that... Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again... Well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be... even longer in the future. Do you understand? Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. I will meet you back at the lodge. Now this planet, this is more my speed. Oh, I could hike here for a while.
fish or something. something for you when you have a moment. If you need something, I've got your back. I thought you'd never ask. Here. Only if it's going to make me smile. How is it that you always know exactly what to say? We're in love. <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Good. Any time you want to talk about our relationship, just let me know. God knows you've done that enough times for me. Oh, I love catching up with you. Let's do it again sometime. Now that we're here, perhaps we could spend a bit of time relaxing rather than planning? Andresia, thank goodness. We were worried. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? They're embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader?
a couple of scans from the eye. But it looks like you got there first. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Neutrality in a debate? I guess your side forfeits. Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your comebacks, Mateo. Playing it safe, eh? <laughs> I don't blame you. Getting mired in a debate with Mateo and Noel can be an all-day affair. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. He's on his way. Bet you never yes, expected you to end up involved me? in something like this. Very good. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Sometimes I think you want to keep me around because of your pain.
I too prefer custom alterations to the standard issue. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. The ones we found, anyway. No telling what this is, but you can feel that excitement in the air, can't you? It's something important. I'm going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Whew. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. If you want help, I'm here.
Landing struts primed. Retro's fine. require my assistance.
Are they moving? They seem to react to us.
Are you all right? We need to get you back to the lodge. Glad to be back. It will be good to have a moment to relax. Crix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Everyone saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Don't think it's just fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. I suppose that station in orbit has more than itself at this point. <laughs> 